Hey, welcome back. And we're kind of going over some stuff we're going to do here to the action and the bolt. Now, this is probably going to be the most controversial uh, part of this entire Savage build. So I'll just say it up front. If you don't want to do this, if you're building your own, um, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But uh, I've done it several times. I actually learned the trick from a very reputable gunsmith and it's always worked for me so I continue to do it. Um, so first off <clears throat> the Savage bolts have kind of a floating bolt face. You, they wiggle just a little bit and that's actually kind of a good thing because it helps uh, when you chamber around if it's just if, if you have a case that's got a little imperfection in it or something this helps just uh, to, to be able to sort of self-center a little bit. Now, on your inside here, in the lugs, uh, where, the, where the lugs make contact on the shelf in here, um, I know it's probably really, really hard to see, almost impossible, but anyways, you've got the two shelves in there that when you put this uh, in, your bolt lugs uh, sit down on top of, right? Well, <clears throat> if you take just a little bit of lapping compound here, and you put it on the faces of those lug shelves in there and you run this bolt in and just kind of work it back and forth a few times look back in there you're gonna see some areas where it's not making really really good solid contact and so what I what I like to do is I'll take a little bit more of this compound and I'll just take a q-tip and just get a little bit on the end of the q-tip there like so. That doesn't take a lot. And I'll go in here and I'll just put some on the shelf right where the bolt starts to come up and make contact as you're closing it. And what that does is it'll just swipe that, uh, as you close it, it just swipes that uh, compound right across that shelf in there. So what I'll do then is I'll put this back in and I'll just kind of work this back and forth a little bit and all that's doing is just taking any little tiny real tiny little high spots and it's just knocking them flat so you'll get more contact with the bolt uh, on those on those uh, the, the shelves in there and <clears throat> you can just kind of keep checking it um, sometimes you'll have to go well you will you'll have to go in here and kind of move this lapping compound back over and get it back into where the lugs make the contact just so you're keeping that grit in the working area. Put it back in now. <clears throat> one, one important thing, when I am pulling on this, uh, when I pull, pull on this lug, so let's say put it in there and close it. Now as I open this, I'm pulling back and, but I'm I'm trying not to pull out here so I'm pulling at an angle or anything. I'm trying to pull just directly back so that those lugs in there are, you know, are making contact where I want them to. So you just work this a little bit. And I already kind of got a head start before I turn the camera on, so um, I've got those in there. I'll see if I can get a get some light in there and get a better picture for you here, but uh, I've got them, I think, where I want them. So there's another step to this. Um, so you're going to need a Dremel and you're going to need some rubbing compound. Uh, any car polish will do. I don't mean wax. I mean rubbing compound like uh, they usually, you can usually find them in about three different grits, a heavy cut, a medium cut, and a light cut. It's important to get something in kind of that uh, heavy to, to medium. Uh, light will work, but it'll take you twice as long, and I don't think it turns out quite as nice. Then you're going to need a buffing pad that has no nose to it. This uh, little pad is just a screw-on pad, uh, but you don't you don't want the little screw head here because you don't want to be hitting the inside of those shelves with a with a screw that'll mess them up. And then you're going to take some uh, rubbing compound. And this is kind of a this is kind of a heavy medium here, 
And all you're doing is we're just going to take this we're going to go down inside on the shelves. You do have to be very careful of, of the threads in here. You cannot touch those threads with this thing spinning. So you're going to have to be very careful, take your time, and you're just going to polish those shelves just a little bit. You're not looking to remove material necessarily. You're just looking to finish off that, that platform to make it smoother. You're not trying to remove material necessarily. You know, you've got a lot of scratching and stuff from the, from the lapping compound. You're just looking to round over those scratches a little bit, kind of flatten those scratches out. So let's do that next. So it's going to take a little time uh, to really get this, uh, get that nice and polished, and then of course you're going to have to clean it, put just a little bit of uh, uh, what, what what I do sometimes I'll take a marker like a because uh, this is this is going to be you can start to see the polished shelves now along with all the fuzz. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a marker and I'll I'll just paint that a little bit. Uh, and then I'll put the, after I clean it, then I'll put the bolt back in, and of course we're going to have to clean the bolt too, and, and work the bolt up against those shelves again to see if I have any other high spots and low spots, and I'll just start the process over again until I get it pretty close. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but um, any improvement from the factory is going to be better than, uh, than nothing at all. So um, I'm going to work on this. I think you kind of get the idea. Close the bolt with the grit back and forth, keeping an even even force pulled toward you, not not at an angle. Pull pull evenly on that bolt handle. Work that a little bit. Polish it up. You might have to go back and forth a few times. I'm going to get this thing done. I'm going to put it in my in my uh, case cleaner along with the bolt. We're going to disassemble that too. I'll do another video on the bolt disassembly, and uh, we'll get this all cleaned up, and we'll show you how to uh, uh, just make sure that uh, we get the the most contact from the lugs to the shelves as we possibly can. So, okay, so here you can see the blue marker that has been uh, sort of dispersed across the shelving and uh, it's it's got a real, real nice contact on both of those shelves. I know the picture doesn't do justice, but you kind of get the idea. So I hope this sort of helps explain that uh, bolt to shelf contact.